Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we are going to add money amounts in columns. That means that we write the numbers under each other and then add. For example, if we have a beach ball that costs $3.34 and then a shovel that costs 68 cents, we write those numbers under each other, aligning these decimal points carefully, and then we add normally. You add as if there were no decimal points or anything. Like this, you add 4 plus 8, that is 12. So we need to regroup or carry 2 here and 1 here. And then we add 1 plus 3 plus 6, and that is 10. So we need to regroup again, okay? 0 here and 1 up there. And then we add here in the whole dollars, 1 plus 3 equals 4. And then lastly, one more thing, need to put the decimal point right there. So the total of those two items is $4.02. And then you can put the dollar sign in front too. Let's try it here. Let's say you buy three toy cars and one toy car is $1.37. So we will add, I will write $1.37 and under it $1.37 and one more time. Okay. Now we add first the cents here. 7 plus 7 is 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. Okay, so we need to regroup. 1 here and 2 goes to the 10 cents column. And then 2 plus 3 is 5. This makes 6. 5 and 6 is 11. Okay, it's like 11 10 cents. That makes more than a dollar. But you can just think of it, okay, I will regroup. Write one here, one here. Regrouping. And then one, 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 one. So four dollars here. And lastly, the decimal point and your dollar sign. Four dollars, eleven cents. Okay, let's say you buy a teddy bear and a toy car and some marbles and the prices are here. What is the total? Again, we will add teddy bear, two dollars. 15 and then the car 137 and then the marbles 349 okay let's add this together and you try to work it as i'm working the problem okay try to be quicker than i am 5 plus 7 12 12 plus 9 it's almost like 12 plus 10 that would be 22. But 12 plus 9 is just 21. One here and regroup two over there. Okay, here's 3 and 3 is 6. Plus 4 is 10. Regroup again. One there. And then we have 3, 4, 7. So the total cost is $7.01. Next, you buy marbles and a teddy bear. You pay with $10. What is your change? So over here, we need to first add to find the total cost of those two things. And once we have that, then we figure out the change using counting up, like we did in the last lesson. Marbles and teddy bear, okay? Let's add those. 3.49 and 2.15. Nine plus five, 14. And then over here, we get six. And then over here, we get five. So $5.64. And now we will figure out the change. You're gonna pay with $10. And they only cost $5.64. In counting up, we need to start with this amount and then count up all the way up to $10, okay? So 64 cents, and I will first go to 70 cents. That would be 6 cents, right? So there's a nickel and a penny makes me to 70 cents. From 70 cents to the next whole dollar. That would be 30 cents, right? 70 and 30 makes 100. So 30 cents. And now we are at the next whole dollar, which is $6. 
Then from $6 to $10 would be $4. And now we can see our change over here would be $4.36. Okay. There. Lastly, Matthew gets to go shopping. Aren't you happy? Matthew buys two puzzle books because he just loves puzzle books and math books, whatever. Matthew buys two puzzle books for th for four dollars eighty three cents each. He pays with ten dollars. What is his change? Oh. Huh? Oh, Matthew's asking if he could, if he could buy three puzzle books. Okay, I'll let you buy three. Okay, let's make it three puzzle books. But then you need to pay with something else. Ten dollars won't be enough. Then you need to have fifteen dollars to pay with. Okay. Okay, three puzzle books for four dollars eighty-three each. Let's first find what the total price. Yes, four dollars eighty-three and four dollars eighty-three and four dollars and eighty-three. I feel like a store clerk. All this adding. Three and three and three. That is nine. Eight plus eight, sixteen. Sixteen plus eight. 24, so we regroup. And then over here, what do you get? I get 14. $14, 49 cents. Well, that is pretty close to the $15 that he uses to pay. But we still need to figure out the change. Count up from this to $15. Okay, from 49 cents, I add a cent, a penny. And so then I have 50 cents. I'm up to 50 cents. And then I just need what? Just 50 cents, right? Let's make it two quarters this time. So that's your change, Matthew. Simply 51 cents. There. And now you can go solve all your little puzzles in the books. We're all done with this lesson.